Hello everyone, this is Munam and welcome to Make Web Better sessions of demo video and tutorials. Before proceeding forward guys, I would first of all request all of you to subscribe to our channel to get latest updates of demo videos of our different plugins. So in the previous demo video, we have discussed the installation and setup of one click upsell funnel for WooCommerce. Now in this demo video, we are going to show you how the front end and back end settings of one click upsell funnel uh, plugin uh, plugin work. So the very first thing you have to do is you have to move to your WordPress dashboard and on left side uh, you can uh, click on one click upsell. So as soon as you click on one click upsell you will be able to see these five options that is safe funnel, funnel list, short quotes, global settings, overview. So in the previous demo video I have explained you about the overview section and I, uh, we have also told you about uh, what is one click upsell and what are uh, what uh, what are its advantages and how it is going to help the admin or store owner to increase sales as well as increase customer experience. So now in this demo video I am going to explain you about uh, some more features uh, and backend settings of one click upsell funnel for WooCommerce. So now uh, the very first thing I'm going to explain you about is one uh, global settings. So as soon as you click on global settings, the very first option uh, you get is uh, of enable uh, enable the upsell. So from here you can enable the uh, upsell functionality and the, uh, with this the admin can offer the funnel offers to customer. The next functionality is payment gateways. So in this uh, free version of one click upsell funnel for WooCommerce, you get the option of cash on delivery. That means if a customer has purchased the product, uh, purchased the product, he gets the option of uh, uh, cash on delivery. The next the functionality I am going to explain you is skip funnel for same offer. So what does this functionality do? Uh, with this functionality you can skip the funnel if any offered product in the funnel is already present during checkout next functionality is remove styles from offer pages so with this functionality if you want to remove the theme and other plugin styles you can do it from here next uh, next functionality is price html format so from here you can select the format price either you can select regular price offer or you can select sale price offer price Next functionality is smart skip if already purchased. So with this functionality what we can do is we can skip, skip the post purchase upsell funnel if the target product has been purchased previously. So from here you can enable it. Next functionality I am going to explain you about is global offer product. So with this global offer product. Uh, when no offer what does this mean uh, this means when no offer product is set the global offer product will be visible that what does this mean this this means if someone has not selected any offer product uh, when no offer product is set so whatever the global offer product ha has been set this will be visible with this if it has been set next is global offer discount uh, what uh, with this we, uh, with this functionality one can set global offer discount on its product price Next functionality I am going to explain you is upsell actions messages. So for uh, whatever we write, uh, whatever we have written in this box, so this message will be displayed along with the loader whenever customers accepts or rejects the upsell offer. Next is global custom CSS and global custom JS. So with this we can do custom styling as well as custom code. So after uh, we have enabled the upsell and whatever the uh, settings we have done, so at last we have to make safe changes. So uh, when uh, what does this do safe changes? So after uh, clicking on safe changes, this will enable all the uh, settings and uh, whatever changes we have do. So this will be visible on the front end as soon as we click on save changes. Next, uh, next, uh, next, uh, I'm going to explain you about how we can create funnels and how we can create offers. So, uh, uh, for creating new funnel, you have to click on create new funnel. So, as soon as you click on uh, new funnel, uh, new funnel. 
so create new funnel you will get this uh, menu uh, the, this uh, you will get this menu bar and from here the first thing you get is uh, name of the funnel so in this name of the funnel here you can add the name of whatever you want to give to your sales funnel like uh, i am going to uh, like uh, name this uh, new funnel next we get the option of select target products so here you can select the target products so with this functionality you can select one or more products uh, one or more products as a target product so this funnel will come into action whenever the customer purchases a target product so uh, you can select a product like uh, beanie i have selected this product now uh, next functionality is funnel schedule so with this feature you can schedule your funnel for a specific weekdays or you can tr trigger the funnel you can trigger the funnel daily so i have selected here daily next feature i am going to uh, tell you about is global funnel so with this global funnel with this functionality you can turn your funnel into a global funnel so a global funnel is uh, is what it triggers the funnel always irrespective of any target product or category this means uh, if global funnel is enabled so uh, it will target all of, all of the products it will trigger the funnel for all the products irrespective of any target product or category next feature is exclusive offer so uh, with this functionality or with this feature uh, it allows you to create one time upsell offers on your store to draw the attention of your customers by showing urgency among the customers so with this exclusive offer you can enable this feature from here next is smart offer upgrade so with this functionality the admin or store owner can offer an upgrade product to customers after purchase is completed so if customers accept the upgraded offer the initial product will be replaced by the offer product now next i am going to uh, explain you how we can add the add new offer so as soon as you click on uh, add new offer so whatever offer product you want to select you can uh, write it here like i have selected belt as a offer product next i can select whatever discount i want to give 50% or 60% whatever i like ne next if you want to upload an image of the offer product i can also do that so from here i can uh, i will use this image so you can see the image has been uploaded so now uh, these uh, two options as you can see after buy now go to and after no thanks go to so whatever uh, uh, the customer selects if like customer selected buy now so he will be redirected to order thank you page or if he selects no thanks then also uh, he will be selected to order thank you page so these are the options where the customers will be directed after accepting this offer or rejecting this offer next is offer templates so these are the uh, three predefined templates or we uh, we provide three offer page templates that are completely customizable with the help of elementor so after selecting one of the templates it will display the upsell offers it will display your upsell offers so i am going to select this so this uh, i have selected this next uh, after doing all this you have to make safe changes so here uh, i have uh, may make the safe uh, i have uh, made all the settings but on the uh, on the right hand side you uh, you will be able to see that uh, there is a option of sandbox mode so the funnel is in uh, is in sandbox mode so uh, with this sandbox what does this sandbox mode do uh, whatever the settings we have do so it uh, whatever the funnel we have created it uh, will be visible for uh, it will be available for admin only so this uh, this sandbox mode helps the admin to customize their upsell triggers and uh, he can test uh, he can test it in the sandbox mode but as soon as we click on uh, uh, click on live so whatever the funnel he has selected it will be live for the customers so after selecting it for live we are again going to make safe changes so now uh, we have uh, saved the changes and now we are going to see so now 
uh, what the funnel uh, we have created has been uh, has been displayed and it is in the live mode that means it will be live for the customers it will be live for the customers and the targeted product as you uh, target product as you can see is beanie so now we are going to see on the front end how this settings will be work uh, will be displayed on the front end so now i am going to click on shop page so now i am going to select uh, the product beanie so as soon as you click on beanie and add to cart and we are going to select on view cart So here you can see see that uh, there is an option of coming of proceed to check out. So now here are the billing details and whatever order we have uh, uh, selected and here you we get the option of cash on delivery. Now all these uh, after filling up uh, filling up the billing details uh, and uh, la at last we have uh, the option of cash on delivery and uh, as as and we as we select the cash on delivery uh, we are going to place the order so as you can see the the trigger the funnel has been triggered because we have selected the target product beanie and we have uh, purchased that product so the, this funnel has been triggered and whatever offer we have uh, selected that is displayed on this template and uh, this is the template we have selected so you are able to see that uh, this belt and what is uh, what is the discount we are getting on this if we want to get this deal we will uh, we can select it from here so uh, after we have selected this so this will be if you want to add this to your order you can select it from here so now you can see that uh, along with the, the beanie we have purchased we have also uh, purchased the uh, offered product since so that is belt and the uh, the total has been uh, added up and it is dollar 45.50 and the payment method which was available was cash on delivery so this are this is the billing address and this is the sh shipping address so guys uh, uh in in uh, so guys this was all about the demo video and now uh, i would like to rewind all the things which i have covered in this video in few points so first of all i discussed how to how we can enable the upsell and how what are the other settings how can we enable them next i explain you about how to create funnel and uh, what is sandbox mode and how to make it live for the customers uh, next i uh, also explain you about the offers we can create in the funnel so you must be you must have noticed that uh, or observed that uh, this one click upsell funnel for woocommerce is beneficial for your store as it increases the customer engagement sales and revenue rate moreover with this plugin you increase the post checkout conversions so this was all about the demo video if have you, if you have any queries on features functionalities on this plugin so you can put the queries in comment section and we will be glad to help you so first of all guys you have to do is to sign up with make web better until the next video thanks for watching and stay connected with us